Good morning, children. In our last class, that is on Saturday, what we did? We did words. We have written words. And two meanings I have given you. So, children, shall we repeat that one? See here, we are now starting. We have started now unit 2, flora and fauna. Now, I told you the meaning. So, shall I ask you that meaning? Okay, we are learning all about plant life. So, in flora and fauna, we are learning about plant life. Okay. So, what is the meaning of flora? Flora means the plant of a particular region or period. So, flora means the plant of a particular region or period. Then, next is fauna. Now, what is fauna? Fauna is the animal of a particular region, habitat or geological Period. This is the meaning of fauna. So, have you by it, children this? If no, you have to by it and you have to know this meaning because the lesson depends upon this. About the plants of a particular region and the animals with their habits or of geological period. Okay. Now, let us start reading of the lesson. So, what we will do today? We will do the reading. After reading of page number 166 from test book and page 167 then they have given one classification of trees, shrubs, herbs, creepers, climbers. So these are the things which they have given. How we did classification of natural things and man-made things, living things and non-living things. So here the categories of trees, shrubs, herbs, creepers, climbers they have given in the test book. That part, once again, we will come to the board and we will complete that. I will show you how to classify. But before that, we will complete reading of lesson of unit Flora and Fiona of page number 166 and 167. So children, don't waste your time. Open your test book. We will start the reading. Okay? Open it. See children, this is unit 2 Flora and Fiona. Class work. Today's date, 6th of September 2021. Plant life. See, this is the picture of a trees, shrubs, herbs, then climbers, creepers. This already I have explained you. So, now again we will understand in detail. So, these are the trees. These are shrubs. These are herbs. And creepers, climbers. Climbers, they need support of a bamboo or a frame. Creepers, they creep on the ground. Trees, they are very tall and strong. Their stem, or we call it trunk. So, they are very strong and tall. And herbs, herbs is a medicinal plant. So, children, let us move to this now. Look at the different kinds of plants in the above picture. Read the Question. Take the answer that you think a right. So children, this what we will do? We will read and we will put right or wrong. See children, now I will explain you. What is common in all these plant? What you see common in all these plant? See the first sentence is all plants have bright colorful flowers. So isn't it there? Colorful flowers are for shrubs. But for trees you have fruit. So this tree you don't have any flowers. And second one is all plants have green leaves. If you see mango tree, green leaves. Banyan tree, green leaves. Coconut tree, green leaves. So all trees, even shrubs, herbs, creepers, climbers, they have leaves. So you have to put right for this. All the plants have green leaves. What is common in all these plants? All the plants have green leaves. Come to the second one. What is that second one? How many plants have thick woody stem? So, how many plants? Thick woody stem? Only trees. See, all plants have thick woody stem? No. Because creeper see, they are very thin stem. Climber see, it is a very thin stem. Shrubs, herbs, they have thin stems. So, four plants have thick woody stem. So, which are that four one? One, two, three, four. So, four plants have thick woody stem. Understood now? Now, come to the third question. 
which plant is creeping on the ground so which plant is creeping this with small leaves and thin stem see the pumpkin is a big vegetable but see the flower leaf is very thin very small and the stem is very thin so see the third one which plant is creeping on the ground the plant which has very small leaves is creeping on the ground wrong the plant which has thin stem is creeping on the ground so this is the correct answer see so children i have written your homework also for homework write one time in your notebook you have to write this question with answer one time very neatly in your notebook now let us move to page number 167 see children for this i have written here class work today's date is 6th of september 2021 tall plants with thick strong woody stems are called trees so what are trees if the question is asked you can write tall plants with thick strong woody stem are called trees trees live for many years name five trees this question and answer i will complete it in your next class so which are the five trees banyan gulmohar neem mango balsam or tamarind you can write many more also okay next plant which are of medium height and have narrow but woody stems are called shrubs so this is the meaning of shrubs these live for few years name three shrubs this answer also will complete in next class plants like grass wheat mint and coriander which are small and have soft stems are called herbs so which are herbs plants wheat grass mint and coriander now plants like the money plant and the grape vine which have narrow and weak stems they need support of trees see in the picture they have given they need support of a tree or poles to climb such plants are called climbers now pumpkin and watermelon plants also have narrow and weak stem but these creep on ground see the pumpkin watermelon they creep on the ground so they are creepers they bear big and heavy fruit so they bear a big and heavy fruit so they cannot climb on a support so they don't need support but they creep on the ground such plants are called creepers now that you know how plants are classified now you know how plants are classified trees shrubs then herbs climbers creepers they have classified now now you that you know the how plants are classified according to the type of stem they have arranged the following plants under the correct heading see here they have given here banyan rose gulmohar coriander balsam pumpkin grass amaltas jasmine chiku guava pea shoe flower neem wheat watermelon these are the names of trees herbs shrubs and they have given here categories trees shrubs herbs climbers creepers see we have already did the classification banyan gulmohar chiku guava neem balsam you have to sort out from this you have to write it in the note here in the test book shrubs rose jasmine shoe flower herbs coriander grass wheat mint tulsi climbers pea grape vine money plant creeper pumpkin watermelon cucumber so children note down your homework homework you have to read it read and complete in test book and notebook okay you have to complete in test book and notebook now come to the board we will complete this exercise how to write in the notebook i will show you on the board up till here your part is complete so you have to read the lesson now come to the board children see children i have written the question here arrange the following plants under the correct heading here already whatever words given in the test book same i have written here Now see the classification under trees: banyan, gulmohar, chikku, guava, neem, balsam. So with the help of the scale, you have to draw the lines and you have to make the columns. Classification of trees: shrubs, herb, climbers, and creepers. Come to the next one: shrub, rose, jasmine, shoe flower. We call it hibiscus also. Herb, coriander, 
grass, wheat, mint, tulsi. Climber, pea, grapevine, money plant. Creepers, what is that? Creepers, pumpkin, watermelon, cucumber. So, I made five columns like this way. You have to make the columns like this way and you have to complete your writing work. So, note down your homework. Homework, you have to write very neatly in notebook with the help of scale, draw and write. So, write one time and complete test book. So, complete test book, that page number, whatever I have given from the test book to write and this work already we have completed in the test book. And notebook, both the pages you have to write like this way very neatly in your notebook. And send your homework as your notebook page and as well as your test book also. So children, write it very neatly. Okay? Have a nice time children. Bye.